As you might remember, I just came back from vacation in San Francisco, which is one of my favorite cities in the world. One of the reasons I love San Francisco is because it's very modern and public transportation is fantastic. It's also a very cosmopolitan city where you can see examples of lots of different people and cultures from all over the world. But there are some other things about San Francisco that I don't really like so much. For example, at the weekend, the streets are very crowded, and there are too many people for my sake. And it's also a very dirty city at times. Some of the big streets in the center have garbage everywhere. When I was talking about San Francisco, you might have noticed that I gave some details about what I liked and disliked about the city. I also used some different words to describe the city. Remember that describing words are called adjectives. In my description, I used four adjectives. Modern, cosmopolitan, crowded, and dirty. When I used modern and cosmopolitan, I connected them to things that I like about San Francisco because they are positive adjectives. Then I used dirty and crowded to talk about aspects of San Francisco that I don't like because they are negative adjectives. Now, in the next activity with a partner, you're going to look at all of the adjectives in this box and decide which ones are positive and which ones are negative. Then you're going to put the positive and negative adjectives in the correct column. After that, if you still have time, you're going to discuss with your partner which adjectives you would use to describe the place where you live and which ones you would use to describe a big city in general. And one more thing, if you don't remember what a word means or you're not sure how to pronounce it, you have the dictionary in the online textbook and it's an excellent resource for knowing the definition of a new word or for knowing how to say it properly. Next, you're going to have a debate with a partner. Remember that a debate is a kind of formal conversation where one person has an opinion about a subject and the other person has the opposite opinion. To prepare for this debate, first, you should read the text, which is an introduction to the subject. Then, you're going to brainstorm some reasons for living in a big city, or against living in a big city. Of course, you need to be prepared to defend an opinion that is not yours. I know it's a little bit more work, but it's also an opportunity to be more creative and use more English. In this debate, you might find there are a lot more differences between you and your partner, and it might be hard to come to an agreement. For example, a person who doesn't like cities and is against living in cities might say that city streets are crowded, but a person who likes cities might say city streets are lively. Now, this might seem a little bit strange to you because you have two different ideas about the same picture. That's because we can often see the same idea from different points of view. When we choose different adjectives to describe different aspects of a city, it makes it clear what our opinions and feelings are about a subject. And again, it's totally okay if you and your partner disagree about different things, because that's part of having an interesting debate. Now you're going to read through the introduction and start brainstorming some ideas for the position that you have to defend. Remember, the more preparation that you do and the more ideas you come up with to defend your idea, the more prepared you will be for your debate. 